Hello friends, today I'd like to make a video sort of explaining a rounded vision, my vision of wellness. Um, before I begin, I really need to address this one very important topic, which is that of truth. Now, I can't really claim to know that this is like the only way to wellness. I'm not even going to try to claim that, okay? I'm really just making this video to inspire. I mean, this is what I do. Maybe you could implement some of this in your own life if you so desired. So, we'll start with nutrition. This is what I live off of. Sweet fruit is high calorie fruits like bananas, dates, durian. I eat a lot of dates, man. Uh, I'm in, I'm in the Los Angeles area and there's all kinds of date farms like right around here. It's awesome. But you know, you can get bananas pretty much anywhere on earth at this time, at this point in history. So that can do it too. This is really where I get my energy. Okay? It's not necessarily for the specific nutrients. I just eat a lot of this so that I can be energized and do like all kinds of stuff, you know, so I can just be awake and very, very fast to get up on my feet and do stuff all the time. That's what this is for. Okay, the categories above the sweet fruits. Leafy green vegetables, fruits other than sweet fruits, and plant proteins and lipids. Okay, let's tackle them one at a time. Leafy green vegetables is really like um, where I get really like, these are just jam packed with vitamins and minerals and proteins, amino acids that I need. Gosh, it's so sunny out right now. It's like pretty early in the morning so the sun is just like low in the sky just going BAM right in my eyes. Okay, so leafy green vegetables full of nutrients and this is uh, this and this the plant proteins and fats if you eat a lot of these and like do resistance training that's a good way to gain some weight and gain some muscle tissue some really quality muscle tissue okay so leafy green vegetables, that's going to be kale, lettuce, spinach, yeah, you get it. Alright, other fruits besides sweet fruits, oranges, strawberries, <laughs> blueberries, <laughs> lemons and limes, like of course, you know, watermelons, you go on for days. Okay, this along with this is sort of like, this is how I round out the rest of my nutrients, you know, along with leafy greens and these other fruits, I'm getting a very wide array of all the vitamins and minerals that I need. This particular category of food is really cleansing. Sweet fruits, yeah, sweet fruits are great, but if you want to cleanse, if you just want to clear out, stick with these. Oranges, watermelons, Lemons, limes, grapes will cleanse the hell out of you. Like, if you are someone trying to lose weight, just eat watermelon and oranges and lemons for like a few days. I mean, if you can, if you have the discipline to do it for like a month or longer, then you're looking at you know, transforming yourself into someone that you nor your friends nor your family have ever met before. That's just taking things to a whole other level if you have that sort of discipline. I invite you to try that. This is for cleansing. The greens and the plant proteins and fats are really more for building up. You know, it's like detox, build it back up right? Detox, build it back up. <laughs> okay, we got this other category. <laughs> Keep switching my glasses. 
can get distracted. Okay, plant proteins and lipids. This is things like nuts and seeds, preferably soaked and sprouted. Um, apparently that uh, works wonders for making the enzymes and other nutrients available to you because the nutrients are all there, but it might take a, quite a lot of energy to unlock them um, in high fat, high protein foods. Uh, I mean, like meat and dairy and that stuff takes tremendous energy to unlock the nutrients and get the nutrients you need out of those foods. Not to mention their acid forming, but really if you stick with plants, your body can get everything it needs out of plants very easily with very little expensive energy. Which is awesome because then, you know, you get to keep that energy to do other cool stuff. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so this is like sprouted nuts and seeds, avocados, coconuts. Wonderful stuff. Alright, as you'll see, I have this last category up here in my pyramid. And this is sort of like my version of the fats, oils, and sweets used sparingly category of the uh, USDA food pyramid. Here I have listed salt, honey, cacao, tea, oils, vegetable oils. These are things that I'm not really looking for on a day-to-day -day basis. And actually, I mean, I'm purposefully avoiding these things um, on most days because I don't need them. Um, but, you know, they are, <laughs> they are part of life, they are definitely part of my life, and they are very helpful in sort of attracting new people to a more vibrant lifestyle. So that's really what I like about, about these things. Especially like if you're trying to start feeding someone salads who's never had salads before, eh, give them, you know, put some honey and some, some vegetable oil on it. Like, That'll help them out a lot <laughs> to sort of, you know, get into the greens because it can be tough at first. Okay. So now, as you have noticed, I have other things on this, uh, on this poster besides uh, food. And that's because, like I said, I, I really want to present a very rounded uh, vision of wellness to you and so I've uh, sort of drawn on here all the other things that I put into my life so that I can be well creativity <laughs> I have music notes there because that's what creativity is for me is making music and it's just a great way to just get free and you know feel purposeful you know, if you're not creative, then what are you? Well, I don't know. Are you just stagnant, just sitting there, not creating anything? Go out and create. It'll make you well. Okay. Exercise. Got to move your body. Got to move your lymph around. Got to got to get your muscles moving. Got to get oxygen moving everywhere, all around your body. Relationships are so clutch. Man. <laughs> I gotta tell you, for me personally, I had a difficulty for a while connecting to the universe as a whole. And for a long time, the only way that I could do this was through relationships. Now since then, I've been trying my best to rise above the need for other people in my life but it but you know there's no need there's also no call for ridding yourself of people either it's just you know a security thing it's just a it's just about building an impermeable aura if you you know if you are into that but until your aura is just entirely impermeable which could take an entire lifetime, relationships are really going to help you connect because you can look at someone else's experiences and you can look at someone else's emotions and say, wow, like, 
I can relate. I'm real. I'm a part of this. We are all in this together. Um, so yeah, that's, that's really clutch for feeling well. Alright, over here. This is my artistic rendition of an oxygen molecule. Because you gotta breathe. Um, I think I saw this... Um, I can't... I saw this... Someone named Rainy Pycheck or something like that <laughs> once wrote that... Uh... <laughs> Oxygen is the number one imperative of life on Earth. I love that. So to the point, fill your lungs deeply with oxygen and you will feel well. If you're feeling like crap, like you can sit down, take five minutes out of your day, take five minutes to just sit in a very comfortable, relaxed, straight spine position and just Fill your lungs as deeply as you can and over and over. You will find peace in that. Go slow, breathe slow and breathe deeply. Practice breathing. Practice breathing to the point where you are breathing slowly and deeply constantly and you'll find yourself uh, way, way relax which is great for wellness <laughs> because if you're relaxed that means that your body has all the energy it needs to take care of you know fixing you because your body is a healer your body is a self healing magical sort of machine if you're relaxed it will do its thing and you will feel great okay sleep you got to sleep man i don't know why but uh, you got to do it. <laughs> I would suggest um, getting into that as early as possible at night <laughs> because then when you get up the next day, I, I don't know. It's like, I don't know why all this is true. I really don't, but you just got to trust me <laughs> that this will make you feel awesome. Or don't trust me. I mean, use your intuition. That's really more. You'll be better if you use your intuition. You'll be more well than if you just, you know, blindly follow people. You have to use your own intuition. Okay. Water. Yep. Gotta stay hydrated. Um, I mean, you gotta stay hydrated so that everything inside you can move around. Sort of like, I sort of think of water as sort of like oiling my joints like a like a bike or something like there needs to be some sort of liquid in there to you know make everything smooth and soft and easy um yeah water's great do it i uh one amount that i've heard which is like great if you're into specific numbers is your weight in pounds divided by two that many ounces of water or um, hydration, really. I mean, if it's juice, that also counts. Well, as long as it's, you know, sque fresh squeezed raw juice. I'm not talking about like corn syrup sort of juices. So this is my um, vision. And this is how I feel my best. And so <laughs> I invite you to try these things out, ask me questions. And also, I'd be really curious to see other people's visions of wellness um, because I will learn from you if you teach me. I will listen. So, have a good day, guys. Be well. Bye-bye. <laughs>